<laughs> Bless me. everybody welcome to my channel my name is Luke thank you very much for watching I do appreciate it hopefully you are all having a fantastic day so far for me today is Saturday it's uh, it's the weekend obviously that's when Saturdays occur and um, I wasn't expecting to be working today to be honest with you but I am I'm in um, I think long story short my boss is a little bit busy he's asked me if I can just cover his run from yesterday I think or something like that or we'll just get an extra one put in so that's what I'm doing uh, as you can probably just see then I'm carrying a blue curtain side of trailer and we are, we're only doing a local run we're already loaded and we're going to Swindon so um, we'll be there in 20 minutes ETA there is 10 to 8 and uh, apparently they said get there for 8 o'clock so I'm gonna get there just before 8 so I'm ready to go Hopefully we get let in straight away, although I've been to this place before and yeah, <laughs> I'm not hopeful. I'm, that last time I was there, I was there for over two hours, so I'm hoping that's not going to be the case today, especially on a Saturday morning. I want to be in and out at, by nine o'clock, ideally. And then after I've done that, I need to go and possibly get some fuel. I'm not sure yet. Or if I don't get fuel today, then I'll be getting fuel tomorrow. But I, either way, I've got to um, go back to uh, the company where we get our bags from and get reloaded for Monday morning, which is going to Didcot. So it's not going to be a long day. I mean, hope, I'm hoping we're going to be done by 12, or at least back to the yard by 12. But um, we'll have to wait and see. There's a lot of cyclists out today wearing their little Lycra costumes. There were three abreast earlier on the way to work. I come around the corner and nearly clipped one of them because they were on my side of the road. Naughty boy. Not me, him. He should have been on my side of the road. But um, yeah, never mind. He gave me a dirty look as I went past and everything. I'm like, mate, you're on my side of the road. How am I going to know that you're on my side of the road going around the corner? I wouldn't even go fast, believe it or not. What's that in the road then? What is that? I want to be. I want to know what that is before I run over it. So. Uh, uh, what is that? A lot of rubbish. Clear left. Clear right. Let's go, go, go. So yeah, um, the boss has asked me to come in today. Uh, he's, he asked me yesterday and I was like, yeah, if it needs to be doing, it needs to be doing, doesn't it? So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the work that needs doing. <laughs> Number one driver, ain't I? Star of the show. So yeah, do this and then go back and get loaded and then probably get fuel Monday morning. I'm not gonna worry about it today. I've got half a tank. I got enough to get to Didcot and get some back on the way back, sorry. Uh, and then I've also got to sort out some things in the yard when I get back. I need to wash the truck, so I'm probably going to drop the trailer. Uh, there's a tyre which is um, quite low on tread. It's not illegal, but it is getting low on tread, so I've reported it. They said they're going to change it when I get back. Uh, so I'm going to drop the trailer, get the tyre replaced, wash the truck. Uh, and then I need to go home because I've got a shed load of stuff I need to do at home as well with regards to housework. I've got to do some stuff in the garden, knock down a wall. Got to do all sorts of stuff today. All sorts of stuff. Remember, by the way, if you are not aware... Let's come around this again. If you're not aware, um, I will be attending Truck Fest in uh, Shepton Mallet. It's on the 1st and 2nd of August, Saturday, Sunday. and. I, as, as well as Kev T and Chuck Day in the UK, will be in a little part they got called the Vlogger Village. It's a new thing they're trying out. Uh, we're the only three that's going. And if it's successful, then I'm sure next time round they'll invite even more YouTubers to, to the event. So if, if your favourite YouTuber isn't going, if, if myself, Kev or Jay aren't your favourite, go anyway. Because... If, you, if they see that a lot of people want to see us, then they'll invite your favourite one next time. If it's a, if it's a um, dead ball and it don't work out, and it's, if, it's, if it's a disaster and no one comes and sees us, they're not going to have us again next time, are they? Or anyone else. So, um, yeah, if we're, if we're not your favourite, at least pretend that we are your favourite just for the day. <laughs> but yeah, me, me Kev T and Chuck J um, will all be there. 
Saturday and Sunday. I'm actually going to be there Friday, Saturday and Sunday because I'm taking my truck down anyway with JK Transport. So um, I'll be there anyway. But um, yeah, I, I'm not sure about them. I don't know whether they're camping or not. Turn right. Um, and if you're not aware, by the way, if, if you are a person who owns a fleet of trucks or you know someone who owns a fleet, a fleet of trucks and they're thinking about going to Shepton Mallet, if you haven't booked your tickets in yet, if you quote my name when you book the tickets, Luke C and HTV, you get £5 off each entry. So if you've got five trucks going, you save 25 quid, basically. So do it. <laughs> Five, five pound off every entrant if you use Luke C and HGV, but it's only at Shepton Mallet. And I haven't actually um, advertised it yet, so um, this is the first you're gonna know about it. I'm gonna do a standalone video, a, a quick two minute video that says it as well, just in case, but it's also in this vlog. So yeah, this is Calcutt Street. This is a nightmare during the day. First thing in the morning, last thing at night is fine, but during the day, not ideal. Not ideal at all. But it's nice and easy today. Um, my boss was it yesterday or I think it was Thursday. He um, he he's got a contract with Lamborghini Club UK, and um, if you don't know what that is, it's it's basically a Lamborghini Club in the UK. <laughs> and he pulls around a what I believe is a merchandising tra trailer to uh, different events. And he dropped it off at Silverstone the other day. I think it was Thursday. I was on my way on my way back to the yard after getting loaded and he was telling me that he was on his way to Silverstone and I was like, whoa, I would love to do that. Like, I've just been to Formula One at Silverstone and he's actually taking the trailer into the track, like in the inner side of the track. So you've got to go over that bridge, um, which I believe is near Cops, I'm not sure, but over the bridge. And I was like, oh man, but yeah, <laughs> it would have been fun. <clears throat> he actually asked me if I can do the trailer the other day as well for the weekend but um, it was my daughter's birthday so I couldn't but um, it may be a case that I could be doing that soon I'm not sure depends if he asks me again if I'm and if I'm busy but that'd be cool taking the Lamborghini um, Club UK trailer to a, a meet see all the cars or it might be a case of just dropping it off and coming home I don't know don't know what it is he actually does we are now only 13 minutes away from where we need to be. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna continue vlogging all the way there so you can see it real life, or whether I'm just gonna to cut to when I get there. I'm not sure. I don't want the video to be too long because obviously you, you guys don't want to watch an hour long video. Not all of you, I know some of you do, but not all of you. I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna wait until I get there. I'll, uh, I'll resume when I get there and um, hopefully we can get let in. Okay, sit rep. So uh, we rocked up at 10 to 8. Time now is 8 o'clock. We got let straight in. <coughs> and um, curtains were open, ready to go. We're just waiting for the forklifter now to come and, uh, and offload me. He just come past me and he said, bear with me drive. Hang on. <coughs> Bless me. <laughs> he just said, bear with me drive. Um, give me five minutes. I need to go sort something out. So I've heard that before. And give me five minutes is code sometimes or give me half an hour so <laughs> we'll have to just wait and see but um there's a few members of staff in here right now obviously i can't show you where i am maybe you could tell by the seagulls making noise who knows <laughs> i'm in swindon that's what i can say you will arrive at your destination at 8 17. i put the destination into where i gotta go to get loaded so if i leave now i'll be there in 17 minutes only 17 minutes away from where I need to go and get loaded, but I reckon I'm going to be here for at least an hour. So we'll probably look at it about half eight, uh, sorry, half nine, before I get back to get loaded. Hopefully there for 45 minutes, quarter past ten, and then hopefully back in the yard by eleven. I'm exaggerating the times just to give me a bit of leeway, but I'm hoping to be back in the yard by eleven o'clock. Do all my stuff and leave by 12. That is what I'm hoping. I have to wait and see, won't we? Right, the good news is we are now tipped. Uh, just gone quarter past nine. So we've been here for an hour and 25 minutes. And uh, he's just about to sign the paperwork. He goes, ah, oh, it's not right. Three bags short. 
So he's now going around checking all the bags that he just unloaded. Uh, so meanwhile, I'm just now sat here waiting. It's quite hot. It's 22 degrees outside. So I just thought I'd jump inside, put the aircon on, and chill out until he comes back. He's over there somewhere, so I'm just waiting for him to come back down, give me the paperwork, and then I can go. Oh, come on, man. Right, we are finally free. Quarter past nine, I was uh, finished unloading, but he had to go around and double check that, um, that all of the stuff was actually on there. It turns out he don't think there is, so I told him to write it down on the paperwork. And I'll raise it when I get back to the company and tell them that you reckon you didn't get enough bags. And that they will then check the CCTV on their end. Because all the loaders have dash cams on them, so they can they know exactly what has been put on. But uh, it's just annoying how I was read I was unloaded at quarter past nine. Ready to go. And now it's twenty to ten and I'm only just leaving. But it took him that long to do all the checks. Figure out whether the right amount of bags had been there or not, and then also when we uh, when it comes when it comes to leaving, he uh, didn't didn't have the gate keys. So we got all the way to the end, undone the gate for the first gate, got to the second gate, then he realised he didn't have the gate keys, so we had to walk all the way back and get the keys again. So it's one of those things. One of those days so far, so we're going to be back at the company where we get loaded with bags at 10 o'clock. Hopefully we can get loaded relatively quickly and get back to the yard by 11, like I originally planned to, but at the same time we might still be getting loaded to come 11 o'clock, so we'll just have to wait and see. Right, we're finally loaded, ready for Monday morning. It's been a bit of a dull day today to be honest with you just not a lot happening a lot of waiting around so we uh an hour and ten minutes to get to Didcot from here but I'm obviously going straight there and going back to the yard first yeah um we we got here I think for about 11 o'clock um 10 o'clock and um we're just leaving now and it's 10 past 11 nearly, so we've been here for an hour and 10 minutes waiting to be loaded, so it's not ideal, but it's kind of normal as well at the same time. On any other given day of the week, that's about right. Obviously, because it's Saturday, you would hope it's going to be a little bit quicker, but it's just not the case. But yeah, so basically it's, uh, it's 10 past 11 now. We'll probably get back to the yard, it's only around the court, um, down the road but we've got the country lanes to get there so we'll probably be there in about 15 minutes so we should be there for about 20 past 25 past uh, and there's a load of cyclists down there as well so this morning didn't I about a load of cyclists out and about there's a couple down here look gonna be stuck behind them for a while I reckon because they go all along the back roads and I'm too big and heavy to overtake them safely, so I'll probably be stuck behind them the whole way. But we'll soon see, we'll soon see. Yeah, so we'll probably probably be back in the yard for about half past 11, so I wanted to get, be back by 11 o'clock, so about half an hour behind schedule. But it does mean that uh, I've only got half an hour to get anything else done that I want to get done, so I wanted to wash the truck. But I, at the same time, if there's anyone on the wash already, I don't really want to. I need to get um, my boss to take a look at my curtain because one of the rails have come off just now. So I need the, that to be reattached. And yeah, so now we're gonna be stuck behind these cyclists. I live around this area as well. We've got to deal with them all the time. Sooner or later, he's gonna wave me out, uh, like wave me past him and be like, off you go, but I can't. I'm full throttle now, full throttle, and I'm only just approaching him. It's just too heavy. I can't overtake him. Not unless it's clear all the way down to the end of the road. Let's have a look.
it's just it's just not safe for me to overtake. Load of them there, load of cyclists. Trying to keep my distance. Oh, he spotted me. Go on, keep going. He's doing 16 miles an hour, bless him. Bless his little legs. I just can't see around the corner. I can't overtake without going on the other side of the road and it could be something coming around. It's looking clear. <laughs> Did he just nearly fall off his bike? All right, that's one done. Now we're going to be stuck behind this one for a while. Oh, he's going slower. I want to go home, it's Saturday! I want to go home! Is it clear? I could overtake him. But I don't know what's coming around the other around the bend. Look, there's a car coming. Oh, there's nothing going that white car could have done it. Nah, I'm not gonna be able to overtake him before the junction by the looks of it. Guarantee he's gonna go left where I wanna go as well. Guarantee it. This is what we um it's it's called the spine road around South Cerny is very, very popular for cyclists. It's a nice road for them, to be fair. If I was a cyclist, I would want to ride along this road. Nice, relatively wide open road. I'm gonna go for the overtake. It's looking good, it's looking good, it's looking good. Left them plenty of space, and we're over. <coughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a relatively good road, like if I was a cyclist or if I was if I was gonna run, I'd be running across that path. It's a good sort of mile and a half, two mile strip. So a space for that is quite handy. Do, 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 do. More cyclists. More cyclists. It's just on these on these roads where I am now, there's just there's no chance of overtaking. So I wanted to try and overtake them before I got to that junction, which I have, so that's good. But there's a chance I'm gonna come across more down these lanes. Sometimes they bear off left, and go down that village. Sometimes they uh, continue down this road and go all the way around. Looking good. So, um, just give you a little bit of a story which happened yesterday. So, um, of course, yesterday was Friday, and uh, both me and my boss were at the company waiting to get loaded. I turned up at half past twelve to be loaded to do my last run to Gloucester, and he turned up about one o'clock, so half an hour behind me or so. Um, and come half past two, I was still in there waiting to be loaded. They were loading me, but I hadn't completed loading me. So I'd, I'd been in there for a decent amount of hours, I mean, two hours or so, and so had, so had he, pretty much, an hour and a half. Um, we have, we uh, eventually got released, and um, it's about, I don't know, just, just gone half two, really. I phoned up the guys I was delivering to in Gloucester. I said, I'm on my way, I'm gonna be there just after three o'clock. He said, all right, mate, let me take your number. So I gave him my phone number, and he goes, I'll give you a call back just to let you know whether we, we'll take it or not. I said, all right, well, I'm on my way anyway. I said, normally it's all right before four, isn't it? He goes, yeah, yeah, normally. I was like, well, I'll continue coming then. So I continued going along. My boss had warned me there'd been a bit of traffic down Birdlip Hill. So he asked me to keep an eye on it, because obviously my sat-nav tells me all the traffic updates. So I kept an eye on it, and then bam, as soon as I got on the A419, it come up saying 30 minute delay. So I phoned him, 
and he said he's he's literally behind me. As soon as I left, he left as well, and he was going to Gloucester as well, same as me. We're both going to Gloucester, but different sites. But we both had to go down Birdlip Hill to get there. And we were sat in this traffic for ages. We got to uh, the end of the A417, if you guys know where it is, just before the draw carriage where he goes into a single line. And um, he says, um, I'm going to give him a call and let him know we might not be able to make it before four o'clock. So I said, all right, no worries. So I carried on going down anyway. Just before I got to the air balloon pub, I got a phone call from the head office saying, turn around, they don't want it. So from half past 12 yesterday afternoon until about half past three, I'd done nothing pretty much because I had to go back to get unloaded, to get reloaded with the job I'd done this morning. So yesterday was a bit of a balls ache to be with you, and I know that was a bit of a long-winded uh, talk, but yeah, basically yesterday was a balls ache. Both me and my boss were on our way to a job and we both got cancelled, told to turn around, both had to get unloaded and reloaded. Been a bit of a nightmare. But never mind, I think that's one of the reasons why I'm in today, because of that last run yesterday, we both got cancelled runs. So we were, we were a run down each. So I've come in today to do another run kind of make up for it a little bit. Had a car crash there, come around this corner way too fast when I was a, a little boy racer. Didn't know the roads, thought I was all it. Nose dived into that hedge. Hurt like hell as well. No one hurt, apart from myself, so that's good. I crossed the road, obviously Ben goes left. I crossed the road and went straight over, so it's a good job no one was coming the other way. I was 18 and I was an idiot. That was 10 years ago. Bloody hell, 10 years ago. Wow. It feels like yesterday, but it's 10 years. Oh, wow, man, 10 years ago. Never mind. Anyway, today's been a bit of a different video, really. It's been more because normally I vlog throughout the day, whereas I've just been vlogging this morning what I'm, you know, what I'm doing basically done one job and go back and get reloaded so it's been a lot of just driving and talking and talking rubbish really that eight wheeler looks familiar these crossroads used to be um, two-way and not four-way so like the car the opposite direction to me when these lights turn green for me now his lights would be green as well but now they're four-way so it's all individual we've got another lycra in lycra wearing cyclist up ahead look It's a good road to overtake as long as I get there. Well, as long as I was behind him right now, but by the time I get there, it could be a car coming the other way. So we'll keep an eye on it. It's all looking good so far. I'm going to go for the overtake, I believe. Indicator on, mirror check, sway on over, get it right on the other side of the road, give me plenty of room. Check the inside. Oh, he's put his hand up, say thanks. And here we go. I think he was appreciative of the room I left him. <sighs> what am I going to do when I get back? There might be nowhere to park. Oh, there's horse manure there, which means there could be horses around this corner. I want to check that eight-wheeler just pulled into there, because I've got a funny feeling I used to work with him. Still keep an eye out for those horses as well. Uh, I think I know that guy. Talking of guys I know, I believe someone I used to work for, uh, work with, could be coming over to work with me again. Not sure. Don't know what his problem was. He put his finger up. Not the middle one. That one. Just the pointing. I was trying to avoid the horse manure in the middle of the road. There's definitely horses down here somewhere. They often have speed checks down here as well. The popo, and they, you know those uh, little village people who think they're all it as well, wearing high vis with a speedometer camera thingy with jiggy. They normally stand somewhere around here, filming people, hoping to catch them speeding. It's 
a 40 mile an hour limit here. Doing 35. Perfectly fine. I'm still expecting to see those horses. If we don't see them around this bend, we won't see them at all, I don't think. Because once we, once we get around this bend, half a mile down the road, we'll turn a right. Just around this bend here. Let's have a look. All good. I don't think we're going to catch the horses. Yeah! Right, so. I think that's going to be it for today's video. And unfortunately, it's not been much. I do apologise. But um, I haven't uploaded a video for a while, so I just thought I'd do a video today regardless of what happens. Um, hopefully we can get some more content out uh, soon. Is that someone walking in the road? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll get more content out soon. We'll... Uh, We'll also see you at Truck Fest if you are going. Remember, Southwest, 1st and 2nd of August, Shepton Mallet. The Vloggers Village, oh, there's, all, there's more horsemen over here, so I could, could see the horses around the next bend. Yeah, so um, come and see us at the uh, Vloggers Village at Truck Fest, 1st and 2nd of August. I do believe, potentially, that uh, the Ice Road Trucker and the Outbert Trucker Outback Trucker, sorry, will be there as well. And the Vlogger Truckers. <laughs> like I said, if you don't like any of us, come anyway, because if you if you do come, they'll think it's a good idea and they'll get more people to come next time. So yeah, so come. Right, I'm gonna leave you on that basis. Get down this corner. Thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. There's that bloody horse there. I said there was a horse nearby and it's right outside our place.